Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with the last of the 30 days of Bible lettering videos. And all month long, we have been celebrating the Word of God by writing these verses out, sharing them online with other people. I've been sharing on Instagram, and you can click on the links below to see all the, the past sharing by me and everyone else. And this one was a verse that I was inspired by somebody else to take one word and emphasize that one with a script. And I'm not really good at fancy scripts, but I thought that came out fairly decent for somebody who's not a really fancy letterer. Next up, a verse that I wanted to emphasize a few words in. I used wonky blocks behind a couple of the words. I did that in another one this month and it was successful there. So I did it again. And here I put a swash under the whole verse. Great is your faithfulness. Because I had a spot on my poster I needed to fill in with a long skinny one. So that worked really well. On this one, I thought I'd show you how I made the heart and the lock. Because those would be good images for you to use in your Bible journaling as well. So just draw an, an oval at the top, a square at the bottom, and then put a lock on it. Super simple. I put mine in a little angle so it looked like the heart had the lock attached to the top center of it and then added the pencil around it to make the whole heart. Now one of the things with watercolor pencil, which is really nice, is that if you draw the outline in the color that you're painting, then there's no outline around it. If you decide you want an outline, then I put the outline on later because once I use the water, Often I change the shape of it or refine it a little bit. And if you've already put the outline on it, then you can't do any refining. So for this one, I'll just use my brush to add water and pull that color around. Now, this is drawing paper that I'm using. So I'm using very little water on all of these verses because I don't want to make it all crinkly and weird because it's not watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is preferred for this. But watercolor pencil works great in Bible journaling too. So it's it's a really it's one of my favorite things to use. Well, I should say watercolor is my favorite thing to use. Watercolor pencil is second favorite because you get control like this. And if you're not good at controlling watercolor, watercolor pencil is a really nice option to have because we're used to having control with a pencil, but you also get the flow of watercolor. So here I'm refining that point, kind of changing the shape of it to make it look better. And if I wanted, I could add a line around it, but I'm pretty happy with how this looks. I've got little highlights up on the top and the color just spread around really nicely using the watercolor brush. So I use a silver brush, a uh, number eight round size in general for, it, for a lot of stuff. But for this tiny lettering, that was way too thick. So I used a super teeny zero zero size brush. So for this one, I added a leaf that I didn't have in my original sketch because I had too much space in there and I needed to fill in something. So I threw a leaf in there. There you go. V pretty fancy reasoning, right? Uh, his faithfulness was important. So I emphasized that with script and color and put an underline under it because that's important. And next up, whom shall I send who will go for us? These quote marks, I used one in each direction to indicate a conversation. And that I might use somehow in an upcoming Bible journaling video. And here we have, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. This is tomorrow's, but I'm doing it today so I can include it in this video and show you the whole finished piece. Yes, it is all done, the entire thing. Oh my goodness. There's a few empty spots I may need to fill in with something, some doodly bits or something. I'm not really sure, but you can watch any progress on that over on the Facebook page. I would love your suggestions on what I should do with this. I, I don't know now. I just wanted to get it done, and now I don't know what to do with it. So thank you so much for joining me all month long for progress on this crazy project. And next week, we'll get back to some Bible journaling. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.